What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you my vlog of Manchester United versus Newcastle at Old Trafford. I did get to go. Uh, I met two mates that I've been speaking to on Twitter for four years, and uh, I met them down in Manchester, Joey and Raj, and yeah, we went and watched the match, and it was fucking incredible. I'll quickly go through some little bits, like kind of a review-ish, and then obviously show you the vlog, but uh, I've got a story to tell as well before the vlog actually kicks on, but yeah. Fantastic. Obviously, 2-0 down. It's looking really, really bleak, but the atmosphere was still absolutely incredible, even two minutes after the second goal went in. Uh, you know, a little bit dead for probably 35 minutes till about 50 uh, in the middle of the game, but afterwards, yeah, as soon as that first goal went uh, in for us, when Mata scored that free kick... <sighs> Roger's phone, honestly, oh, I, had, I told him to record because uh, I forgot my charger and uh, I couldn't because uh, I was on limited battery and uh, he had his uh, charger connected, like uh, the a brick, what, you know what I mean, but anyway, uh, the power pack, but he didn't uh, connect it quick enough, so unfortunately he couldn't record, his uh, phone died as uh, the free kick was going in, I told him, I went, look, this is going in, I just had a feeling. Uh, and then obviously after that, Martial, the lovely uh, interchange with Pogba, and then when Sanchez scored the winner. Oh, the place just went absolutely mad. I can't wait to go to the Juventus game. I will do a better vlog for that. This is a little bit hit and miss. Um, it doesn't really capture everything uh, that I should have. So I apologise for that. There'll probably be a couple of pictures in there, um, but most of it is obviously video. It, it's not as long as I'd want it to be. But yeah, the story before the vlog starts, absolutely mental. Um, after the game, the last train back, um, obviously I live in Sunderland. Uh, so I had to get a train to York and then York to Newcastle. And then I was always going to Uber back to Sunderland. Um, but yeah, the, the train to York, uh, literally, um, I'm in the train, one of the few uh, Man United fans there uh, with like 150 other Newcastle fans. You'll see in the video, like, they were chanting for hours. It was pretty funny to start with, but they just kept going, though, chanting about Mackhams and all this other shit, obviously Sunderland and God knows what else, but yeah. <laughs> It got a bit annoying after like the first hour, but after about an hour, an hour and a half, um, the train actually had to stop because there was a small fire on it. And uh, yeah, it stopped for about half an hour. And by that time, we, we eventually got to York. Uh, no one was injured. It was just a, a small fire, but obviously health and safety precautions, etc. But uh, yeah, so everyone had to obviously, well, get off at York. Unfortunately, our connecting uh, train to Newcastle had already left. So, yeah, I'm stuck there in my Man United kit with uh, 150 drunk Newcastle fans. That was fun. Uh, for a good hour in York Station, while the police and Northern Rail um, basically got us taxis back. Like, they paid for it, so I'm very thankful for them. Uh, obviously, it was not their fault at all. Uh, a little bit of communication error uh, for Northern Rail, I think. Like, the connecting train probably shouldn't have went without the fans, but... You know, maybe they'll work on that next time. Um, but yeah, so 180 pound taxi, 67 miles all the way to York. It took just under two hours. Um, but yeah, I was stood there for a good hour because uh, yeah, obviously 150 fans. So you're looking at 40 taxis, 30, 40 taxis. It's absolutely crazy. But yeah, then obviously Uber to Sunderland. I'd still do it all again though. I literally would. Like, I, I love uh, watching Manchester United. I haven't been able to as much as I really want to uh, purely because of money issues and because I had no one to go with really. Like, I'm quite you know, self-conscious etc. Quite anxious around uh, new people and all that shit. So yeah, like, I was so happy when Joey and uh, Rod said they wanted to go so I did. And uh, yeah, I suppose here's the vlog. See what you think of it. What up, Melvin7 here, and uh, as you can tell, just finished work, and uh, I'm going to head straight to Manchester for the uh, Newcastle game. According to reports, could be Mourinho's final game. Guess we'll see, there's conflicting ones today, but uh, I set off in an hour and a bit.
very wacky, they're not going to go. Fuck off, Sitchy, fuck off, home. Come on! Yeah. 